Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to export a movie and have an alpha channel or basically get rid of the background color. In this one, you'll see the stage is white and in a lot of cases, especially when you do things like overlays, you don't want the background stage to render. You only want what's in the foreground. So I made a very quick Mickey Mouse basic uh, video here. I'll just show you what I got. So basically, I've got a bunch of different things, flashing fonts, shapes, etc., etc. The reason why I did that is I want to render this, and I want you guys to be able to see all the different flashes and moving forward. So you know that that I've got rid of the background stage, I've got rid of everything except the stuff that I want it to be, which is obviously the shapes and things like that. So the first step to do that is you want to go up to File, you want to go to Export, and then you want to go down to Export Video slash Media. Left click on that, and then by default, this will not be checked. It will not have the Ignore Stage Color checked. You want to left click on that. This now tells it to generate an alpha channel. But here's the thing, that is not good enough. And I've tried this multiple times. In When you start it, in almost all cases, unless you've made some changes already, you're going to probably be rendering in the H.264 format with the default preset, which is fine 99 out of 100 times. But if you actually want the alpha channel, this is not the correct format. There are only a few that work, but I'll show them to you. So the one that I'm going to use is, let's go down here a little further. I'm going to go ahead and go with, let's go with QuickTime here. When I click on Format QuickTime, now I can set a different preset. And when I go down here, you're going to see Apple ProRes with Alpha, or you're going to see GoPro Cineform RGB 12-bit with Alpha or with Alpha at maximum bit depth. Let's just go with this one, but it's this one here. Anything that says with Alpha will do the trick. So I'm going to go ahead and use the GoPro Cineform RGB. Now, I'm going to go ahead and rename this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this button here, and I'm going to call this Alpha. Alpha 1, sure, whatever. Okay, sounds like a space movie. I'm going to hit left click on Save, and now I'm going to hit Export. And just keep in mind that I changed the format and I changed the preset deliberately. Now, it's going to load up Media Encoder. So normally Media Encoder loads up for a Adobe After Effects most times, but it also works for this one. I will note here it goes very, very quickly, and you'll know it's done by the little green check mark on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and left click on the output file, and that will take me directly to the file. There it is, Alpha 1. Now we're going to go one step further, and I've got an Adobe Premiere Pro file open here. I'm just going to click offline to that. And you're going to see here that this video is me just playing a video game. But if this works, we're going to have no background color. We're only going to have those shapes and fonts on top of the video, nothing else. So I'm going to drag and drop this in. And you'll see here that all those little ones with the question marks, those are the times I tried before with regular uh, doing it with H.264 and QuickTime 4444, and it didn't work. So I had, to, I had to learn this one the hard way. So anyways, alpha1.mov is ready. I'm going to drag and drop that onto Premiere Pro. I'm going to drag and drop that on top, and now take a look. When I hit Spacebar, you're only seeing the shapes that I drew out there, the, the quick shapes there. You're not seeing any background color. That, in my opinion, is the correct way to render stuff with an alpha channel, transparent, no background, inside Adobe Animate. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.